right. Welcome to the coldest day of the year in Virginia. Behind me is a shipping container. Uh, I'm not sure I was ever certain it was going to make it, but it did. To my right is our finished shed, well, minus the door. And today we're going to do the unboxing of an Aero 1280S. Uh, it's been here, we got it off a uh, rollback truck. It was uh, his first time dropping one off, our first time doing it. Had to pull it with the backhoe to get it off, but uh, everything worked out. So uh, let's see what's inside. As you can tell, we got our math right. The door opens all the way. <laughs> what you can't see is we had spray painted little lines here, so we're pretty close actually to where we wanted the container to end up. All right, if you can come over here, you can see, uh, so this is what an Aero 1280S looks like. This is our uh, foam core, uh, used with epoxy and cloth. Uh, you can see the pre-cut um, pieces. This is CNC cut in uh, South Africa at a current marine. Um, this is a lifetime supply of Epoxy, resin, and hardener. We've got two 50 gallon drums here. Um, and uh, everything looks like it, it managed in transit fine. Everything's in good, in good shape. Um, it happens to be the coldest day of the year. I think the current temperature, we had about four inches of snow last night. It's blowing 35, 40. There's a uh, bit of a nor'easter on and the northeast states are just getting dumped. We only got about three or four inches of snow, but, um, but you can see our panels here uh, with peel ply. Uh, and, and basically this is what the structure of the hull of the boat is gonna be made out of. Um, everything is pre-cut. Uh, it's computer routed files, uh, then computer controlled pneumatic cutting, CNC cutting. And so depending on the, um, you know where where the panel is going to go in the boat. It'll have different thickness, different amount of um, of cloth. Um, but these are going to come out. They're going to go in our building. Uh, we're building a strong back, and and we'll build the hulls individually uh, and upside down. And then once they're done, they'll get flipped back over right side, and and they'll be uh, combined with the bulkhead um, with the bridge deck in the salon area. So if you want to come to this side and walk in, you can actually see some of the panels. Uh, so also we've got tons of, uh, of carbon and fiberglass cloth. Uh, we've also got, so this is, right here is probably a pretty good area. Um, you can see if you look at the panels here, uh, this is actually going to be uh, the main structural component or bulkhead in the salon. These are, this is where the door is going to be cut in. Uh, so this is the back bulkhead of the salon, the entryway, and then there'll be a window there, window there, window there. Um, but you've got tons of carbon cell or carbon uh, cloth. Uh, we've got th 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 this here is um, is red cedar. This is what the furniture in the boat is made out of. So this is kind of the world's largest puzzle. Um, cedar smells good. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then additional, you know, foam core. And we opted for the foam core as opposed to the balsa. I think the balsa is a better product, um, and probably. I would say a little bit more reasonably priced, but um, you know we're building the boat in America, and we've got to think of the long-term, you know, sort of possibility of selling the boat. And and you know, I think balsa has got the better um, compression strength. Uh, I, I believe it bonds a little bit better with the uh, with the resin. Uh, the issue is, is an end grain it can wick moisture, um, whereas if you do get an impact, um, the balsa can stand up to an impact a little bit better. Um, but the issue is if you do get water ingress, it can wick away and you can get a much bigger rotten area. Uh, the foam will stay a little bit more localized. So balsa is a little bit lighter and stronger. Um, problem is, you know, I think it's got a bit of a bad rap in the States. Uh, in many cases, on un undue, really just from poor boat building, which will not be the case with this one. So, you know, these are much better materials. Uh, it's going to make it stronger, lighter, faster. Um, but the incredible thing is we don't have to build molds. You know, if, if you look out, what you see here, uh, it's flat panel. Um, so it saves us a lot of time on the labor hours, and it's going to allow, you know, a group of, of for the most part, inexperienced boat builders 
um, to put something together without having to build molds and without having to take the time and money to do it. So we think um, you know this is a really great project for us. Our uh, our our team member Pat uh, is in sunny Florida today. Uh, so we miss him here. Get home soon. We'll have the heat on. I'm sure that's when he'll he'll turn back up. But so that's the unboxing. This is an Aero 1280S uh, in a 40-foot shipping container, and we are really excited about our project.